going to use the wall. So you need a wall space. I'm going to say at least as wide as your mat, maybe a little bit wider. Everything I'm going to do at the wall, you can do um, away from your wall. So if you don't have a wall space, you can do it not at the wall. And the only other prop that you need is going to be a marker. So it can be anything. It can be a sock. It can be a shoe. I have a little tin part I'm going to use as my marker. Um, so for your marker, we're going to start. It'll be for later on in the class, and you'll just have it. Um, once you put it down, we're going to start off the wall. The other thing I wanted to say, um, if you like music during your yoga or um, diffusing oils, essential oils, um, in class, I normally have music where I teach in oils. Um, I don't have any here. I want, you, I want you to be able to pick your own music and your own oil if you want to use them. So the mark is going to go where our feet are. So we're going to sit against the wall with our back to the wall. We're going to stretch out your legs. You're going to take your marker. You're going to set it next to your mat on the floor where your feet are. And it should be a pretty good marker for what, something that we're going to do later. So we're starting off where our body is in the shape of right an L. And we're going to be putting our body in this shape right, this shape in different ways throughout the class. We're going to start with your hands on your lap. We're going to bring your head to the wall. Your shoulder blades are coming together, right, the scapula. They're together at the wall. Now, like you can try to point your toes up towards the ceiling if you can. If you need to let the knees soften, the knees can soften. And your hands can just come to your lap. They can also come down next to you if they comfortably reach the floor. We're going to start just by taking a few breaths. We're going to breathe in and out through our nose. Inhale, breathing in through your nose. And exhale. Inhale, breathe in through your nose. And exhale, bring awareness to your breath, bring awareness to your body. You can close your eyes, right? That closes off everything around us, closes off. The world. Inhale, breathe. Inhale, breathing in through your nose. And exhale. Now from here, we're going to come forward into child's pose. We're going to come forward. We'll bring your knees a little bit wider than your hips. We're going to point your toes. We're going to sit back towards your heels. I'm going to start with my elbows under my shoulders and my palms together. And I just like to come here and make sure my knees right feel like they're wide enough. I'm stretching the tops of my feet, right? We're stretching your ankles, your shins. See how your knees feel softening around the knees, the top of the legs. When you're on the elbows, it's a little bit easier to reach your sit bones back towards your heels. You can reach your sit bones back towards your heels. If you like to stretch the arms out, you can reach your arms out, bringing your hands to the shoulder width apart, spreading your palms, spreading your fingers, lifting the elbows. You can walk the hands a little forward. You can bring your head to the floor. You can hold your head above the arms. Inhale, breathing in through the nose. And exhale, reach your sit bones back right towards your heels. Bring the lower back. So the middle back, right, your upper back, and your neck, your shoulders. Inhale, breathe. Now we're going to come up onto all fours. We're going to come to your hands and your knees. So hands under your shoulders, knees under the hips, tops of the feet down, curling the toes under. We're going to lift your head, reaching your chest forward, tilt the pelvis up. Exhale, rounding the back, chin to your chest, tucking the tailbone, draw your belly in towards your back. Inhale, arching your lower back, lift your head, reach the chest. Exhale, round. Inhale, breathing with your breath. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, lift your head, reach the heart, tilt the pelvis up. Exhale, round, chin to your chest, belly to the back. Inhale. Exhale, round. 
Inhale again, lift your head, reach the heart, tuck the pelvis up. Exhale, rounding again, chin to your chest, belly to the back. Now we're going to come again to a flat back. We're going to come into child's pose and knees again a little bit wider than your hips. We're going to sit back towards your heels. Now this time, I want you to bring your elbows to the floor. We're going to lift your hands and your forearms. We're going to bring your palms together, your hands together, your forearms, your elbows are together. We're going to sit back towards your heels. Now I want you to feel your shoulder head and your upper back. Don't your head hang down to relax your neck. Now we're going to breathe into the upper back. So inhale, breathing in through your nose, breathing into the upper back. Now if you exhale, relax your head, relax your neck, relax those shoulders. That's spreading across the upper back. Inhale, breathing in through the nose. Exhale, then relax your shoulder, your back of your arm, from the elbow to the shoulder, from the upper back. Now we're gonna reach your arms out. Now we're gonna look at, lift your head and look towards your thumbs. The thumbs are right pointing towards each other, index fingers are four, with your wrists are aligned with your shoulders. Maybe chest to the floor, head to the floor. And the chest doesn't have to touch the floor, it can just reach in that direction. Same thing with the head, it can stay in line with the arms, above the arms. We're lifting those elbows, hugging your upper arm, put your bicep in towards your cheek, rotating your shoulder heads out, shoulder blades maybe drawing together, chest towards the floor. Relax your head, relax your neck. Now, walk your hands back under your shoulders, Straighten your arms. We're going to come into downward facing dog so we can get up to stand. We're going to shift your weight forward. We're going to lift your knees. You curl the toes under. Lift your hips. We can walk the feet back. They might even be at the wall. Mine aren't quite at the wall. They don't have to be. It's fine. Look at your toes. Right feet are lined up. Press into the hands. Reach those hips back. Lengthen your inner arm. Stretching back of the legs. Sides of the body. Inhale, breathing in through the nose. Exhale. Now go ahead and walk your hands right to your feet. My feet are at the wall. Your feet are at the wall. Don't fall. Walk them forward. Go ahead and press into your feet. Come all the way up. We're going to reach up. Bring your palms together. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Now we're going to turn and face towards the wall. So we're going to bring your toes right up to the wall. Your feet are hip width apart. So look at your toes. Right? Make sure they look the same. Your feet are parallel. We're going to lift your head. Bring your hands to the wall, reach your arms up, look up at your hands, and go ahead and look at the wall. Now, if your shoulders feel really tight or the sides of the body feel really tight, you can always take your hands wider, your arms wider, hands wider, right, to the wall, so you can relax your shoulder. And whenever we're standing, I always, um, at the wall, I like to close my eyes again to bring awareness to my body. So I want you to press your hips a little forward, so you're drawing the tailbone in, Lift your toes, feel the heel, right, inner heel, outer heel, center of the heel. Spread your palms, spread your fingers. Don't hold your breath, keep breathing. Inhale, breathing in through the nose. And exhale, relax shoulders, the sides of the body. Inhale, breathe. Relax the toes. Now go ahead and slide your hands down in front of the shoulders for your hands, your palms in front of your shoulders. Now, walk your feet back away from the wall, about a foot. We're going to come back about a foot or a little less. We're going to come up onto the toes so we can balance. Now, once I come up, we usually come towards the wall. We to press a little bit away from the wall. So you're lining up your shoulder with your hip. And I want you to feel your calf muscle contracting. So we're strengthening our feet, right, our calf muscles. And I like you to feel around your ankle. Now, and you also can bring your palms off of the wall and bring just the fingertips to the wall. Draw the tailbone in, relax your shoulders, lift your chest, reach the crown of the head with palms or fingertips to the wall. Bring your shoulders in line with your hips, spreading up those calf muscles. We're bringing blood flow right into the ankles, into the feet, into our calf muscles. Now we're gonna lower your heel. Bring the weight into the heel, lift your toes. So lift the toes, inhale, breathing in through the nose. Now as you exhale, go ahead and relax your toes. Bring your toes back to the mat. Now, we're gonna bring your feet together. We're gonna keep your hands on the wall. I try to keep my hands 
just to start in line with my shoulders. We're going to step the left foot back. We're going to bring your left foot, left heel to the floor. We're coming into a forward lunge at the wall. Right knee's bending with the chest. Elbows are straight. And some people like to bring their fingertips to the wall. That's fine. If you like to walk the hands up a little higher. What I want you to feel stretching is the back of your left leg and the front of the left hip. We're going to pull the right hip back because our hips are balanced. Lifting our chest, trying to relax the shoulders. Don't shrug the shoulders to the ears. Drop those shoulders away from the ears. Relax the back of the left leg, front of the body, front of the left hip. Now, step your left foot next to your right foot. We're going to step your right foot back. Bring your right foot, right heel all the way to the floor. Right hands are lined up with our shoulders to start. See how that feels. We're going to try to straighten the elbows so your shoulders drop away from your ears. Now lift your chest. So the back of the right leg, so that calf muscle, front of the right hip, the front of the body. Bending the left knee, making sure it's not going past our ankle. Pull your left hip back. So our hips are balanced. Our heels should be lined up with. I'm going to say between somewhere between your sit bone and your hip, right? Kind of think of where those body parts, bones are in your body. And so breathe. Now, step your right foot next to your left foot. We're going to bring your feet together. We're going to keep the hands on the wall where they are. We're going to walk your feet back. So we're going to bring your upper body parallel to the floor. I'm going to walk my hands down a little bit. I want my hands to be in line with my shoulders and I straighten my elbows. We're going to try to press our palms into the wall. You can look at the floor. Right, elbows are straight. So the back of your legs are feeling, right? The hamstrings right into the hips, into the back. Press into that wall. Right, elbows are straight. Legs in the back of the neck. Reach the crown of your head towards the wall. Take a little peek at your feet, right toes are lined up, feet are still parallel. Knees can bend if they need to, they can bend a lot. Breathing, right, press into that wall. Lengthen the neck, sides the body, the back of the legs. We're in that L shape again. Remember, so we're going to be in this shape quite a few different times in this class to feel right that shape in your body. Now, we're going to walk your feet forward. This time we're going to bring your feet together. Bring your hands to the wall, right, palms to the wall, combine with the shoulders a little below. I'm going to come up onto your tippy toes again, this time with your feet together. So we're going to come up, press a little bit away from the wall, right, palms or fingertips to the wall, relaxing your shoulders, lifting your chest. Draw the tailbone in, reach to the crown of your head. Inhale, breathing in through your nose. Relax your shoulders. Lifting the chest. Inhale, breathe. Now we're going to lower your heel. Bring that weight back into the heel. Lift your toes. Inhale, breathe. Exhale, relax your toes. Now step your left foot straight back. Bring your left foot, left heel to the floor. Walk your hands down a little bit. Hands in line with our shoulders. Elbows straight. Right lift that chest one more time. Stretching the back of the left leg. Front of the body. Relax shoulders, pull that right hip back so your hips feel balanced. Now step your left foot next to your right foot and then step your right foot back. So right foot, right heel to the floor, hands to the wall, shoulders apart. Bend the left knee, pull that left hip back, lift the chest, the front of the body, front of the right hip, back of the leg. Let the shoulders drop away from the ears, elbows straight, pressing into the wall. Inhale, breathe. Now, step your right foot next to your left one. Put your hands in front of the shoulders. Feel your posture. Feel your feet on the floor. Draw the tailbone in. Relax those shoulders. Inhale, breathe. Now we're going to come with your back to the wall. We're going to walk your feet forward. So we're going to do a couple different variations in chair. So our toes are lined up, our feet are parallel. We're going to bend the knees. We're going to bring your hands to your lap to start. Head to the wall. I want you to do a pelvic tilt forward. I'm going to press your lower back into the wall. I want you to bring your hands to the wall. 
the palms to the wall. Right, make sure that um, your toes are lined up, right feet are parallel, shoulder blades are together, maybe back of the head to the wall that comfortably comes up without lifting your chin. So the belly button, we'll look towards the back, palms to the wall, arms to the wall. If you don't like your arms on the wall, you can bring your hands to the lap. Inhale, breathe. And I do this one again just to I start to warm up the legs. We're not going to do this just one time. We're going to do some different variations. So I don't want it to feel like you're worn out after the first one. We're going to press into your feet. Come up. Come away from the wall. Take a breath. Reach up. Look up. Bring your palms together. Bring your hands to your heart. We're going to come into our first forward bend. So we're going to come over. We're going to bring, I always wiggle my fingers, right? Fingertips to the floor. If you can't reach the floor, you can let your knees bend. You can bring your hands to the back of the legs. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. Right, starting to warm up. The back of the leg, lengthening the back of the legs. See how that lower back feels. Right about the back of the neck, lengthening the back of the neck. The knees can bend a lot here. I don't want your back to hurt. I don't want your knees to hurt. Inhale, breathing in through your nose. Relax your head. You can shrug your shoulders. You can lift the shoulders. Relax your neck. Inhale, breathing. Now we're going to press into your feet. We're going to come up. Take a big breath. Look up. Reach. Palms together. A little back bend. Right hands to your heart. Now, your feet should be in a good spot. We're going to come with your back to the wall. So come again with your back to the wall. We're going to bend the knees. Now, I want you to come down like where you feel it's comfortable. And I want you to come up one time, and then one more. We're going to start a little bit higher. Then about two thirds of the way higher than from where we normally would come when I say come down, right? So bring your hands to your lap, pull your belly. Now we're gonna lean forward. So we're pressing right our sacrum back of the pelvis into the wall, and your elbows right to your knees, hands to your lap. And you can do this one away from the wall. You would just be doing a chair and leaning forward, have your elbows right on your knees, reach your chest forward. Now this first one shouldn't feel too hard, right? You're like, okay, this is pretty easy. You can hold it for a while. Now, from here, come with your back to the wall, right? shoulder blades together. Now I'm going to slide down one third of the way from coming all the way down where you would feel comfortable. Now I'm going to come forward again. Just pressing that sacrum right into the wall. Elbows the top of the legs, palms together. Reach your chest forward. I'm just warming up those legs. Inhale, breathing. Now we're going to come back to the wall, so come back, right shoulder blades together, start to be feeling a little bit tired, come down one more time, to where you could come one time, right, and hold it for a while, right, and then go ahead and come forward, sacrum to the wall, hands together, reach the chest forward, starting to feel a little bit harder, keep a good alignment with our ankles, bare our knees, our hips, pressing that sacrum into the wall, reaching your chest forward, don't hold your breath, inhale, breathe. Back to the wall, press into your feet, come up, come away from the wall, take a big breath, reach up, bring your palms together, bring your hands to your heart. Now, this time, as we forward bend, we're going to bring our sit bones to the wall, so you're going to walk to feet back, and again, if you don't have a wall, you're just going to forward bend without the wall. You're going to bring your sit bones to the wall, now my feet, I'm going to make sure my feet look the same, so they're going to be, my feet are probably about four to five inches away from the wall. Might be too close, I'll know when I hold. So we're gonna fold, we're gonna bring your hands to the floor. So for me, four or five inches feels pretty good. If that feels too close, you can always come up and walk your feet a little forward and then come down. Um, we're gonna try to straighten the legs, but if the knees need to bend, they can bend. Relax your head and your neck. You can do palms, fingertips to the floor, or those sit bones right on the wall. We're lifting those sit bones up the wall. Relax your head and your neck. Inhale, breathe. Relax those toes. Soften your knees if you need to. They can bend a little bit if they need to. Relax your neck. Relax your head. Now we're going to bend the knees a little bit. Look forward. Don't fall. Right hands to your lap. Come up. Take a big breath. Right, reach up. Bring your palms together. Bring your hands to your heart. Now we're going to do one more squat off the wall. So we're going to take your feet wide. We're going to turn your toes out, your heels in. We're going to bring your back to the wall. We're going to bend the knees. 
Now, I usually look down, so I want to line up my ankle and my knee. So ankle and knee are lined up. Then from there, I lift my head, head to the wall, hands to the wall or hands to your leg. So maybe slide down a little bit more if your hips are open enough to let you do that. If not, stay higher. So we're pressing your knees open, draw your belly in, belly button to the back, shoulder blades together, head to the wall, breathing. Relax your toes right to the center of the heel. Press your knees open. Inhale, breathing in through your nose. As you exhale, shoulder blades are staying together. Let you feel your posture with that curve in the back of the neck. Navel to the back. You should feel the lower back, the lumbar spine. You should feel a space. You should feel a curve there that is not against the wall for this squat. We're still drawing the belly in. We're still engaging our core and we're still breathing. Inhale, breathe. Now we're gonna press into your feet and come up, feet parallel, come away from the wall. I'm gonna walk your feet together. Now we're gonna set your feet wide. I'm gonna do a wide leg forward bend. We're gonna line up your heels with the side of the mat. Go about your leg length apart. Feet are parallel, so make sure your toes aren't turning out or in. And we're gonna bring your hands to the floor. So palms, hands under the shoulders to start. I'll let you to straighten the elbows. And see if you can comfortably straighten your legs and your back. If you need to let the knees bend, they can bend. Now, from here, I'm going to have you walk your hands forward like you're in downward facing dog with your legs wide. So hands are shoulder width apart. Spread your palms, spread your fingers. You can bring your head right above the arms. Head can come in between the arms. Now, what I don't want you to do is to shift your weight forwards, you're moving your hips forward. I want you to keep alignment of your hip right in your ankle. The knees can soften and still you can have alignment of your hip and your ankle. We're stretching right sides of the body, right spine, back of the legs. Breathe, relax your head and your neck. Now we're gonna walk your hands back. We're gonna come into our forward fold. The top of the head right towards the floor. Elbows are hugging in towards each other. Shift that weight a little forward so we're not standing in our heels or shifting that weight into the heels. Relax your head and your neck. Lengthen right the back of that neck. Top of your head to the floor. Knees can bend as much as they need to here. Breathe. Right going upside down. Inverting. And then go ahead and walk your hands forward. Press into your feet. Come up. Take a big breath. Reach. Palms together. Hands to your heart. Now. We're gonna to go to the right side first, from your right toes to the right to 90 degrees, from the left toes in, about 15 degrees. We're gonna line up heel to heel, right? So right heel to your left heel. We're gonna bend the right knee. We're gonna come right into a side angle. So bring your right elbow to the top of your leg, right elbow, right forearm. Left hand can come to the hip. Left arm can come up. Left arm can come by your head or your ear. Can also just stay up. Can also just stay on your hip. So bend that right knee. Of the right hip under the body. Gently press into the outer edge of your left foot. Both sides of your spine are evenly lengthening. If you're reaching through that left hand, you can reach through the fingers as you press to the outer edge of that left foot and get a nice stretch. It's called side angle stretch. Really strengthening that right leg, right? Stretching the sides of our body, lengthening the sides of the neck, and then press into your right foot and come up straighten. Turn your right toes parallel to your left. Turn your left toes to the left. Turn the right toes in, lining up heel to heel. Bend the left knee. Lift your arms parallel to the floor, reaching to the left. Bring your left elbow, forearm to the top of the left leg. Right hand can come to the side, right to the hip. You can reach that right arm up. See how you're getting your feeling across your shoulder, your chest. You can bring your head by your ear, straightening that arm. Bend the left knee, left hip is hugging under the body, on both sides of your spine, right? Evenly lengthening, side angle stretch, or rooting into the outer edge of that right foot, reaching through those fingers, getting a nice stretch of that whole right side of the body. And then press into your left foot and come up, turn your left toes parallel to the right, walk your feet together. So we're gonna come to the top of the mat, we're going to bring your feet together. Take a big breath. Reach up. Bring your palms together. Bring your hands to your heart. Come into a forward fold. Chin to your chest. 
and we'll look forward. We're gonna keep our finger, fingertips on the floor. Step the left foot back, bring your left heel to the floor. We're coming into a split leg, forward bend. So a lot of people step too wide with their feet in this pose. I want your left heel to be able to come up, to be able to come all the way to the floor. Right knee can bend if it needs to. You can straighten the right leg, straighten it. We're keeping our hips balanced. And we're folding over the right leg. So forehead towards your right shin, nose towards that knee, rib towards that right thigh, relax your neck, relax your shoulders, palms or fingertips before you can bring your hands around that right foot, driving into the left heel, maybe lifting the toes, breathing. And I want you to feel the front of your hips. The front of the hips are staying square, right? Balanced. Inhale, breathe, relax your head your neck, relax your shoulders, now lift your head, step your left foot next to your right one. Press into your feet and come up, take a big breath, reach up, palms together, hands in front of your heart, now fold over your legs. So palms, fingertips to the floor, step the right foot back, bring that right heel, right foot all the way to the floor, walk your hands back so they're around the left foot. Soften the left knee if you need to. Let it bend slightly if you need to. Drive into the right heel and go ahead and fold over the left leg. So forehead towards that shin, nose towards the knee, rib towards your thigh. Driving into that right heel. Lift those toes. Relax your head, your neck, the shoulders. Inhale, breathing. You can always lift the head and reach the chest forward. Relax your head. Relax the neck. Driving into the right heel, maybe lifting the toes. Lift your head, step your right foot next to your left one. Press into your feet, come up, take a big breath, reach. Palms together, hands to your heart. Now, we're gonna come to the wall. We're gonna face towards the wall, we're gonna come Everyone's dis distance is going to be a little bit different. I'm coming, I'm going to start about a foot, maybe a little bit more than a foot away from the wall. My feet are parallel, my toes are lined up. We're going to lift your head, we're going to bring your hands to the wall. We're going to start with your hands in front of the shoulders. We're just going to do some wall push-ups. So we're going to come forward. Now, I like my hands to be in line with my shoulders like I'm doing um, chaturanga. So we're going to come forward, hands out away from the wall. I'm going to actually step back a little bit. So I feel a little bit too close. I'm going to step back a little bit more. Now, so when I come forward, I like to put a press and actually bring my hands like a little bit off of the wall, right? So I'm going to come forward, come a little bit off of the wall, right? Pressing, make sure the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders feel good. Coming towards the wall, pressing away from the wall. Now, if I haven't done these in a while, I honestly will do you between like 20 and 30. So I've done them a couple days in a row, and I'll just do about 10. And I'm going to do them until my arms are tired, right? So, or my elbows, right? Or my wrists are like, mm, okay, enough, right? So I like just to warm up the arms. This way it's a really nice, easy, gentle way to warm up the arms. And also see how your joints are feeling. Often our joints are feeling different on different days, right? So it's a good way to check in with the wrists, right? Your elbows, your shoulders. From here, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go ahead and turn. We're gonna come to the floor. We're gonna come in to child's pose. So go ahead and come down. Bring your knees a little bit wider than your hips. Point your toes. Step back towards your heels. We're gonna stretch the arms forward. So spread your palms. Spread your fingers. Lift those elbows. Lengthen that inner arm. Can you feel into your sides, into the back? Inhale, breathing. walk your hands back. We're going to come up onto all fours. We're going to come into downward facing dogs. We're going to lift your um, knees, lift your hips, walk the feet back, feet hip width apart. We're going to press back, lengthen that inner arm, touch the hips back, breathe. Now 
Now from here, we're gonna come down to the knees. We're gonna bring your knees together, your feet together, and together. we're gonna sit on your heels. Now if you cannot sit comfortably on your heels, so there's too much pressure on your ankle or your knee, you can just come to sit with your legs crossing. From here, we're gonna lift your elbows and line with your shoulders. Your palms are gonna to face towards your face. So we're lining up the wrist, elbows, elbows, shoulders. Now, pull your shoulder head down away from your ear. Pull your shoulder blades together. Bring them down the spine. Inhale, breathe in through the nose. Exhale, press your elbows just a little bit towards each other. Pull your shoulders again down away from the ear. Pull the shoulder blades together. Now feel your belly button. Pull the navel towards your back. Shoulders down, away from the ears, shoulder blades pulling together, draw the shoulder blades together, pull them in and down the spine, belly to the back. Now, we're going to bring your hands right to your lap, bring your hands to the floor. We're going to come forward, we're going to lift your knees, we're going to lift your hips. Now, this one, I'm going to walk back until your foot, your heel is at the wall. Your heel can come a little bit up the wall, or your foot can come to the floor. I'm going to bring my heel to the wall for the first one. So I'm going to look at my toes, right? With my toes to feel lined up, right? Heels right against the wall, feet look even. I'm going to look at my hands, make sure my hands look the same. Spreading the palms, the fingers, right? Press them back, lift those hips, scoop the belly in, right? Shoulder heads are rotating out, shoulder blades together, right? And then the back of our neck. Now, when I come down to your knees, right, knees wide, point the toes, sit back towards your heels. Now, I want you to bring your elbows together, bring them to the floor, lift your hands and your forearms, bring your palms together, bring your forearms together, sit back towards your heels, relax your head, relax your neck, relax the shoulders. So, everything I'm doing from here, again, you can do everything away from the wall. You also can skip anything that you don't want to do, or you can change and put something else in. So you always can skip something, you can change it, you can come into child's pose, right, instead of downward facing dog, right, so you can always adjust, just be aware of how you're feeling, right, your elbows, your shoulders, right, your neck. Now, we're going to reach the arms out, spread your palms, spread your fingers, reaching that chest again towards the floor, head to the floor, relaxing the neck, reaching that chest. Stretching with that upper back. Breathe. Relax your head and your neck. Now walk your hands back under the shoulders. I'm going to come up onto all fours. I'm going to bring your knees together. We're going to bring your elbows to the floor. So elbows, forearms are coming to the floor. Your palms are coming together. Bring your elbows under your shoulders. And we're going to come into dolphin or a variation of dolphin. So we're going to curl the toes under, we're going to lift your knees, your hips, we're going to bring your heel again, right heel to the wall, take a little peek at your feet, feet are hip width apart, knees can bend, bend if they need to, lift your hips, we're going to lift your head, look in between your forearms at your mat, relax the shoulders, relax your neck, right, strengthening that shoulder, upper arm, right back, core, breathe, now I'm going to come down to your knees, sit back, Towards your heels. I'm going to walk the elbows back. Keep the elbows under the shoulders. Inhale, breathe. Relax your head. Relax the neck. Inhale. Now, from here, we're going to come forward. We're going to come to your stomach. We're going to lay on your belly. Make sure that your feet, they can touch the walls, make sure that you're far enough for that your feet aren't coming up the wall. Now we're gonna um, come up onto your elbows. We're gonna bring your elbows under, right, your shoulders, right? So elbows under the shoulders, palms together, front of our hips are nice and flat. So stretching right in front of the body, front of the hips, relax the top of the legs. You can move the legs a little bit side to side, pressing into your elbows. Lifting your chest, relax your neck, shoulders, inhale, breathe. Inhale. 
Now from here, we're gonna to come to the floor. So I'm gonna put one hand on top of the other, and I'm gonna bring your forehead right to your hands. And we're gonna stretch the top of the legs, the front of them. So I'm gonna have you bend your knees. And we're gonna cross one ankle. Let's, let's cross your left ankle in front of your right one. We're gonna press your heels towards your sit bones. And try to keep the pubis bone in front of the pelvis down. So then spread your toes, relax your head, your neck, your shoulders. Press your heels towards your sit bones. So keep the front of the pelvis, right hips down. Yeah. I want you to switch the crossing of your legs. So switch the ankles, spread your toes, then press your heels towards your sit bones, relax your head, your neck, your shoulders. And can breathe. Now we're going to uncross your ankles. We're going to bring your feet together. We're going to press your heels in towards the sit bones. Spread the toes. Relax your head, your neck, your shoulders. Keep the front of the hips down. Now, I'm going to have you bring your feet apart and then press your heel towards the outside of the hip. So again, keeping the pubis bone down. Now we're going to bring your left foot to the floor. I'm going to stretch out your left arm and reach back. I'm going to grab your right ankle. I'm going to pull your right heel towards the outside of the hip. We're going to keep the front of the hips down. Keep the alignment of your right knee, right, right hip. Relax the top of that leg. And you can bring your head, if you want to bring your head back to your left hand, you can bring your hand under your forehead. You can reach that left arm out. Right, lifting the head and the chest, so stretching right top of that leg. Breathe, relax your neck, and then right foot to the floor, reach your right arm out, and bend your left knee, grab your left ankle, and left knee, left hip, pull that left heel towards the outside of the hip, keep the front of the hips gently pressing down, right pubis bone pressing down, relax, top of that left leg, breathe. If you want to bring your head to your hand, you can bring your right hand under your head, head to the hand, you can keep that arm out. Now we're going to bring your left foot to the floor, bring your palms next to your chest, press into your hands. We're going to come up, we're going to bring your knees together, we're going to bring your knees together, sit back towards your heels, elbows, under your shoulders, make yourself like a tiny little ball. Relax your head and the neck. Breathing into the back, stretching the top of the legs. Now, we're going to use your marker. So, you're going to bring your hands in line with your marker. And we're going to walk your knees back. So, bring your hands shoulder width apart, thumbs are lined up, index fingers are pointing forward. We're going to come into a downward dog that's going to be a little bit shorter of a downward dog. So we're going to lift your knees, we're going to lift your hips, we're going to bring your heels right to the wall. Now from here, we're going to walk your feet up the wall, or not. If you don't want to walk up, you can just keep your feet down. As you walk up, we're going to bring your feet, your toes together, we're going to look at your feet and bring your head between your arms, pressing away from the floor. Right, we're trying to line up our wrists, our elbows, our shoulders, our hips, and we're going to walk down the wall. I'm going to come into child's pose, the knees wide, sit back towards your heels, elbows under the shoulders, touch the arms out if you want, reach your chest towards the floor, relax your head, relax the neck. Now I'm going to walk your hands back under the shoulders. We're going to come up to sit. So we're going to sit and face towards the wall. We're going to do some variations of Navasana, boat pose. So we're going to sit. We're going to bring your feet to the wall. So we're going to bring our calf muscles, our shins parallel to the floor. Just look at your toes, line up your toes, make your feet look the same. You're going to bring your arms down by the side. I'm going to have you lean back a little bit for the first one. So we're going to lean back, we're working our core here a little bit. Reach those arms, you're going to bring your hands to the back of the legs. That's fine. Now from here, we're gonna have you straighten your legs. You can bring your heels to the wall, straighten the legs. Then you can bring the arms right out next to you. You wanna come up a little bit, right? Working the hip flex, 
posture, so you can lift up a little bit, you can lean back a little bit, play with it, and see what feels good. See what works your core. We're gonna bring your feet back to the wall. We're gonna lift our chest straight towards our knees, calf muscle shins, parallel to the floor, elbows, nice and wide. gentle forward bend. So we're going to come forward and bring your head to the wall. You can bring your elbows to your knees. You can bring your hands to the floor. One hand on top of the other. Relax your head, your neck. Breathe. And then we'll come back and take your legs nice and wide. Bring your heels to the wall. We're going to come forward again and your head reaches the wall. You can bring your forehead again to the wall. Hands to the floor. Relax your head and your neck. Press through your heels. Press your calf muscles down. Press your thigh bones down. Let that breathe. Now we're going to come up. I'm going to bring your right hand behind your right leg to the floor, left hand to your side. I'm going to roll the left shoulder back and stretching down. Bring our left side across our shoulder, the chest. Inhale, breathe. I'm going to come up. We're going to take your left hand, bring your left hand behind your left leg, right hand to your side. We're going to roll the right shoulder back. Your knees wide. So compress your knees towards the wall. Right, relax in the hip. Relax your feet. Let your feet slide down as much as they want, as much as they can here. Relaxing the hips. Now we're going to bring your knees back together. We're going to drop the knees over to the right. So drop your legs over to the right. You can reach that left arm. The left, the left hand can come to your side. Reach your left sit bone towards the wall. Relax into that lower back. Inhale, breathe. Relax your shoulder, your neck, the head. And then go ahead and walk your feet back up the wall. And we're gonna come over to the left. Walk those feet legs over to the left. Reach that right sit bone to the wall. Right arm can reach up. Right and over, right hand can come to your side. Breathe. We're gonna walk your legs 
back up the wall. Take your legs straight up the wall, arms out to the side. Go ahead and point your toes, pull your toes towards your shins. Spread the toes, reach the ball of the toes towards the ceiling. Relax your feet. Now we're gonna bend your knees. We're gonna hug your knees in towards your chest. You can bring your hands just to the knee. The shed, you can grab the fingers, bring your feet to the wall, reach your lower back towards the floor, reach your sit bones towards the wall, pressing the knees maybe right together. How you're feeling right in the hips, front of the legs, lower back. Now bring your arms back out to the side, lift your legs into the air again. So bring those heels again back to the wall, relax the back, inhale, breathe in through the nose. And exhale. Inhale, breathe. Now, we're gonna bend your knees. So we're gonna roll over to your side. We're gonna come up and sit right against the wall. We'll sit, you don't have a wall, so when you come to the wall, you have a wall. Sit right against the wall, with your legs crossing. Bring your hands to the knees. Inhale, breathe. Palms together in front of your heart. Tuck your chin to your heart. Take one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Well, namaste.